All right, so we have a car here with a a code. What was the DTC, Bill? Uh, P219A, it's a fuel imbalance on bank one. So fuel imbalance. So one of the things we tracked it down to is a problem injector. Now we're on a good injector back here. We're going through this box with our lead and we see we got 13.3 ohms. We're now gonna switch over to the cylinder that we believe is the problem and let's check our ohm resistance out here and can you see that we got 31.2 ohms you may go well what's the difference high resistance like this is going to give us actually uh, low amperage and the pintle has to open up about six seven hundred milliamps the current on this is going to be different we have a bad injector that is causing the problem. We'll uh, attach a couple of pictures that Bill actually did current ramping this injector. So that's how to check an injector. We're gonna prove one other test here called the coil test. We know that the resistance of the injector is, so Bill, go ahead, press that button and let's watch what that voltage reading is. This is the good injector. So we got 6, .6 six volts, 600 and something millivolts. Okay, and that's on the good injector. We're going to switch it to the bad injector. And, of course, we're going to start it up before we do this cylinder because we don't want to hydrostatically lock anything. So you hear the motor start up. We'll clear it out. We're good. And now we're ready to go on this cylinder. Press that button, Bill. Look at that. We got 11.43 volts. 11 volts, 200 something, 10 volts on it's staying on. Look how much longer this thing stood on doing it. So that proves the coil test has failed and it got a bad injector. All right, so here's the current ramping. Yeah, it's going up to 950. This 950. is a good cylinder. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And the pintle bump roughly yeah, over there, seven. about 60, 70%. Yeah. Okay, and where's the bad one now? Look at the bad one. Pronounced pintle bump. And what's our maximum amperage? Uh, like 650 milliamps. 650 milliamps. So lower current, which means it can't get all the fuel in the cylinder. There's where we get the imbalance. Great job. Okay, so you may be wondering on this caravan here, how in the world did you find to go to the injector? So what Bill did, he used the launch scan tool, didn't go into the factory tool. And important thing is crank is synced. But go ahead, Bill, explain. And I think you guys could see the numbers there. Yeah, so cylinder one is at 2,400, and that's microseconds they're counting it in. And all the others are around 19 to 2,000, so it's a bit higher. So it was trying to add fuel to that cylinder, and that's what was throwing the imbalance code. So the injector on time was being commanded for the Wider. computer to stay on longer, but because of that low amperage we looked at before, it couldn't deliver it. 